So you want to know how to use your digital planner with your iPad or other tablet. I'm actually using an iPad and an Apple Pencil, but you could use pretty much any tablet that you have and any form of stylus. So although you can choose any note-taking app you like, I'm going to be using GoodNotes, which is a really comprehensive and highly rated note-taking app. But how do you get your planner into GoodNotes so that you can use it? Now, when you get your link to download your planner, you need to save it, probably to your downloads folder, and then tip, make a note of where it has been saved. So before you can import your files into GoodNotes, you're gonna to need to take them out of the zip folder. So for that, you quite simply tap it and it will create a folder that you can actually open and inside there will be the different folders. Inside each of these folders, you've got your actual planner, which you can import as a complete planner, or you've got the pages you can import as templates. So now within that downloads folder, we've got the zip folder, which we've unzipped, and that has created the normal folders. And inside the folders, we've got the actual individual planner pages that we can import as templates, or the complete planner. So now those folders are actual folders, not zip files. I'm gonna show you how to import them into GoodNotes. So if you just open the GoodNotes app, so you can see mine has already got some of my planners already in there and all my other notebooks I've hidden away in here just for ease. Now I've already got the daily planner, the weekly planner and the monthly planner in here. And within here you can see you've got all of the various planner pages. But what I'm gonna do is import a new planner notebook and that is the journal. So we're just gonna tap new and import then if you remember, we put them in the downloads folder. So we're going to go into the digital planner and then I am going to import the journal. I want to import the complete journal as opposed to the template page. And I'm just going to tap open. It will import the document and there it is. One of the main benefits I find from having digital planning as opposed to just paper planning is the ability to add in extra pages where you want them to rearrange things, delete pages, because sometimes I find in a planner, some days you'll do planning and it will be quite straightforward. I'll find on some days you've got all the planning pages that you need. And on other days, maybe you need extra notes pages, extra brainstorming pages. And for that, you're going to need to import some of the template pages. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. If you go to settings up here in the corner and notebook templates, you can see I have already imported a lot of different notebook templates. So now I'm going to show you how to import to these templates. So I have set them up into different categories of templates. You don't have to do that. You can just have them in one big load of templates, but I have sectioned them into different sections. You can add different sections if you wish by adding a page and adding a new group of templates. So we're just going to call it new templates. But you can call it whatever you want. You could call it planner templates or journaling templates, whatever you want to call that. So from here, we're just going to tap import from files and we're going to import from the daily planner individual pages. I'm going to import the today's three things page and open that up. So now you can see I've got that. And if I want to add that page in here, for example, I don't know why I'd want to do that, but if I wanted to add that page in here, I could just go more from templates. That's the template we just added, apply, and then it goes. I've got that template in there to slot in wherever I want to put it. If you want to delete a page, you've got it in the wrong place, you could just move to trash, or alternatively, you can move the page. So actually, that doesn't belong in this one. It doesn't belong in this daily journal. It's a planner page. So if I select the page I want to move, and just move the item, I'm gonna move it to my 2023 daily planner, and there it goes, it's gone, it's moved over there. And if I want to rearrange the pages, I can quite simply pick them up and drag them to wherever I want to put them and rearrange the order like that. You could select different pages you want to move or copy, and then you can paste them in different places. So if I copy those pages, and then I go to into here. So 
this is the last page now, I can paste those pages. And there they are, the pages we just very randomly copied. So there are a few different ways you can write on your planner. You can very basically pick up the pen tool and just write. Now obviously this is on a slope, so <laughs> normally I would write on this when it's flat. My handwriting would be a little bit neater, but my handwriting is still not the neatest. So instead we're gonna rub out the handwriting and do you know the tool I use most if I want to keep my planner really neat is the text tool. And rather than physically typing, because I like the writing that goes into the planning, I'm gonna tap here and I'm just going to write something. So I'm gonna write something. And then I can just move that to wherever I wanna move it. So at 6 a.m. I'm gonna write something. I like to use the highlighter tools for highlighting things that are important, or you can just choose to rub that out with the highlighter. You can use a standard eraser or only erase highlight like this. And put that back to standard erasing. That's the very basics of how you physically get the pages into the planner and then how you can physically write on your planner. I hope that's been super helpful.